Uh, cuaca sini weh Oh, uh, time-time macam ni lah dalam 3 petang ke 6 petang gitu Uish, memang lena tidur Sekejap, <laughs> sekejap Loading sekejap 20 hari bulan esok kan uh, Harap-harap video ni sempatlah di upload sebelum esok Okay, so mula-mula korang kena buat account lah dengan New Zealand Embassy punya website tu uh, Just tekan masuk je dia punya page dia Lepas tu tekan register uh, Lepas tu, lepas korang dah daftar tu uh, Barulah boleh apply untuk visa ni lah bila link tu buka nanti Step 1, daftar dulu dengan uh, New Zealand Embassy punya website Step 2, bangun awal Okay, <laughs> bangun awal dan prepare login siap-siap lah Supaya nanti tak adalah macam lambat sangat ke apa Sebab memang serius, dia buka aja memang korang boleh terus apply Memang dah boleh terus refresh apa semua tu lah So just in case, takut website tu akan hang juga ke apa Takut tiba-tiba tak boleh nak log in Tiba-tiba time tu jugalah baru nak buat account ah Tak boleh So korang memang kena cepat lah dengan benda ni uh, Slot pun limited kan apa semua So uh, lepas korang dah bangun awal apa semua tu Tinggal nak refresh page tu untuk masuk ke application portal tu lah bila korang nak daftar tu uh, pastikan korang ada lah korang punya passport siap-siap dalam tangan sebab nanti dia akan minta isi lah passport details apa semua tu time ni korang kena pastikan yang details tu betul-betul ngam ok jangan nak salah type lah jangan nak silap ni memang kena slow and steady masa tengah mengisi details tu pastikan korang pakai passport details ok jangan pakai details IC jangan pakai details lesen memandu sebab passport ni sebenarnya dia kuasa dia lagi kuat lagi tinggi daripada daripada IC apa semua tu so contoh macam nama saya sebenarnya dia ada apa apostrophe depan A tu so sebenarnya dia macam Arif passport semua tak ada simbol langsung so jangan pakai so kalau dalam passport tulisan dia Arif uh, then pakai Arif je jangan pakai Arif jangan nak tiba-tiba uh, bantai apostrophe tu ke apa so pastikan korang check passport korang betul-betul untuk check nama tu isi nama tu dengan betul isi passport nama tu dengan betul dan sebagainya Ya, yeah, saya tahu benda tu memang slot limited Tapi kalau masalahnya Kalau korang ada buat satu mistake ke Satu kesilapan ke apa semua tu Nak back balik kepada page tu Untuk tukar kesilapan tu ah uh, Memang susah Sebab, you know, website tu jam Website tu akan hang Website tu akan lambat Setiap page akan mengambil masa sekurangnya 2 minit, 3 minit baru boleh load So, korang kena slow-slow Take your time, apa semua tu and then uh, pastikan setiap detail tu betul lah dan sempurna so tak adalah masalah korang nak kena back balik ke apa semua tu nanti lepas korang dah isi maklumat apa semua tu uh, lepas dah jawab soalan-soalan dia adalah soalan dia banyak yang macam you know pernah disabit kesalahan ke ni dalam English tak? pernah disabit kesalahan ke apa ke uh, bila agak-agak tarikh nak fly masuk ke New Zealand ke uh, you know benda-benda macam tu so lepas korang dah isi apa semua tu nanti korang akan masuk dia punya page untuk bayar processing fee tu lah so bayaran ni korang memang kalau boleh pakailah credit card please please pakailah credit card sebab saya pun nak korang dapat working holiday visa ni um, kalau tak ada dan tak apalah nak buat macam kena lah juga pakai debit card tapi apa-apa hal good luck je lah um, so lepas korang dah bayar apa semua tu dia akan bagilah uh, dia akan bagi tahu lah congratulations your application has been sent maksudnya korang dah uh, dapat korang dah apply dah benda tu so tinggal tunggu je lah uh, dalam beberapa hari nanti dia akan bagilah uh, email yang akan bagi tahu detail semua kalau korang dapat kalau tak dapat kalau tak dapat sebab apa kalau korang dapat ah uh, then inilah conditions dia yang korang kena patuhi apa semua tu so itulah uh, nanti lepas Lepas esok ni Lepas korang dah dapat apa semua ni Kalau korang dapat Kalau ada yang tengok video ni Dan dapat benda tu uh, Jangan malu-malu Boleh je message saya ke Comment dekat bawah Apa semua tu Sebab nanti memang saya akan Bagilah video uh, Apa yang perlu bawa Apa yang saya bawa lah Personally Apa yang saya bawa uh, Dan sebagainya So if anything good luck uh, Nanti saya jumpa korang Dalam video yang seterusnya lah Okay peace Okay, so this is the English version. Um, what you're going to want to do now is register for an account with the New Zealand uh, Embassy's website. 
that way you will be able that way it'll be easier for you guys to log in and things like that you know make sure you register for the account early because like I mentioned before once it opens at 5 it is you know anyone's ball game literally so 1150 Malaysians remember uh, you definitely want to try your best to be one of those so register for an account with the New Zealand uh, Embassy uh, so once you've registered for the account uh, all that's left to do is when the time comes just log in uh, navigate towards the working holiday visa application page and then press that link make sure you already have your passport and your credit card um, yeah so during this time once you've managed to make your way towards the application page and you are actually starting to fill out the application page please please take your time with this okay please make sure you don't make any um, stupid or common mistakes or anything like that because yes the website will be jamming you know due to all the traffic and things like that and yes each web page will take an approximate well, well for me anyways it took at least like two to three minutes to refresh okay so don't make the same mistake I did uh, where I accidentally uh, typed the wrong thing within my passport like type the wrong detail and things like that and then I had to go back to the first page to actually fix it and everything like that once you've pressed you know next wait for it to load before you do anything else also make sure you use your passport details okay don't use your IC so for example like my name it actually has an apostrophe in front of the A but you know in my passport of course you can't use symbols or apostrophes or things like that so follow your passport details okay do not follow you know your IC details or anything like that make sure you follow your passport because passports have a higher uh, power over ICs and identification cards and things like that so once you manage to get it and everything once you finish the processing once you've paid for the processing fee all you have to do is just wait a couple of days they'll give you an email if you didn't manage to get the working holiday visa they will state the reason why and if you did don't be shy don't be afraid to comment down below with you know any additional help or things like that I will be posting up you know uh, what to bring what not to bring what I brought and things like that so yeah that's pretty much all it's pretty much it um, I wish you guys all the best with your application good luck maybe you know if we have enough time maybe I'll see you guys here somewhere in Auckland or somewhere in New Zealand or things like that so all the best don't forget to like this uh video please comment down below what what else you want to see from this channel and things like that and good luck guys i'll see you in the next one